Lesson one: Ready to sell the house. Now that we found our new home, it's time to sell our old one. I know it makes me sad. Why is that, Dorothy? I don't know. I guess it's because we've lived here so long. I know, baby, but it's time to move on. Yes, I know. The kids are all grown up now. I'll contact our realtor tomorrow. Are you going to use the same one? No, I don't think so. I think I'll try someone new. Why is that? No reason, really. I just want to check around. We're in no hurry. That's true. I'm good with that. Lesson two: Marketing the house. It's time to start thinking about marketing our home. Won't our realtor do that? Yes, of course. But we can make some suggestions. What suggestions? I definitely want to have for sale sign on my lawn. That's funny. Don't all houses for sale have that? No, not really. A lot of homes are just listed on the internet. Why do you want the sign then? I think it's an effective tool in selling the house. Okay, you're the boss. We'll also have a listing online so we can reach more people. Sounds good to me. We should do well then. Lesson three: Setting an asking price. Hi, Jennifer. It's Doug. Hello, Doug. How can I help you? I'm a bit concerned with how to set an asking price for my home. Well, you shouldn't worry, Doug. We will set the price accordingly. What do you mean? We are experts at this. We'll take all factors into consideration. Such as what, if I may ask? Our formula takes local pricing, comparability, and market trends into consideration. That's very thorough. We are real estate experts, Doug. I think I made the right choice to hire you, Miss Winters. Well, thank you, Doug. It's my pleasure. Lesson four: Signing a contract with a realtor. Hello, Mr. Rogers. How are you today? I'm doing well, Wendy. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So, are you ready to make a decision? I certainly am. I'm going with your firm. Oh, that's great news, Mr. Rogers. Okay, so what's next? I have a standard contract we use. You can look it over if you like. Sure, I will. But can you give me an overview? It basically reads that you agreed to have us act as your agent. I still have the final say on the deal, though, right? Of course you do, Mr. Rogers. I just wanted to be clear on that. Thanks. Lesson five: Home security during listing. I must admit, Miss Price, I'm concerned about security. Don't worry, Mr. King. We will provide the security on your home. What kinds of things do you do? We make it look like someone is living in your home while it's listed. How do you do that? We do several things. We stop deliveries, mow the lawn, and set timers. Is that all you do? No. We have our agents drop by from time to time. Oh, that's good. Yes, we take home security seriously. Thanks, Miss Price. I feel much better now. You are very welcome. Thank you. Lesson six: Fixing up the exterior. It's time to start work. Okay, where do we start? The best place to start is the roof. The roof isn't that dangerous. Don't be afraid. As long as we're careful, we'll be all right. But I'm afraid of heights. I'll be there. Like I said, we'll be okay. Okay, I trust you. A good roof is very important. If it leaks, it can ruin the interior. Yes, I know. Remember Uncle Joe's house? I sure do. Let's get started. Okay, I'm ready. Lesson seven: Fixing up the interior. We should start fixing up the interior of our house, Angela. Why is that, Jonathan? Don't we have time? Yes, we do. But the sooner, the better. I guess so. Where do we start? I think the kitchen would be best. 
Why would the kitchen be best? I just think it's a very important room. Well, yes, I guess we spend a lot of time there. We do, everyone does. Okay, what should we do first? How about the cabinets? They're not too expensive, and it will look good. Sounds good to me. I'll start looking into it tomorrow. Lesson 8 Preparing for an Open House. Good morning, Alice. Today's the big day. Yes, it is. Are we ready for this? I think so. You know I've been working on the house. I know, Richard. I guess I'm just nervous. I wouldn't worry, babe. We've worked very hard on this. Yes, I know, but still. We cleaned the house, spruced up the yard, and painted the interior. I know, Richard. I'm worried about the things we didn't do. I think we'll be okay. If something comes up, we'll deal with it then. You think of everything. No, I don't, Alice. We think of everything. You're right. We'll be ready. Lesson 9. Counteroffer. Good day, Thomas. We have an offer on your house. That's good. I hope it's better than the last one. It is, Thomas. Okay, let's hear it. The offer is 275000 275000 That's 35000 under the listing. I know, Thomas, but I think we should consider it. Why would I consider this price? We should counter-offer. I think we can work with this buyer. I won't take less than 300000 You know that. Let's consider the counter-offer. The house has issues. Okay, I listen to you. Lesson 10. Accepting an offer. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Good morning, Rudy. How are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. So, what have you got for me today? I have exciting news, Mr. Davis. What is it? Did someone make an offer? Yes, I have a serious offer on your house. This may be the one. How close to the asking price is the offer? Very close. The offer is at 325000 Wow, that's great. That's almost what we listed it for. There are a couple of conditions, though, but they're not too bad. Okay, I'm all ears. Let's go over them. I'm ready to sell. Lesson 11. Accepting a counteroffer. The counteroffer we've been waiting for is here, Mr. Richards. Finally, it's been nearly three weeks. Well, these things take some time. I know, but I wasn't happy with the original offer. I think you'll be happy with this. The buyer is coming in just below list. Exactly how much? They came in at 415000 with very few conditions. Wow, that's only $10,000 below list. I didn't expect that. Neither did I, Mr. Richards. What are the conditions? They're not too bad, mostly just to fix a few minor flaws. That's great. I think we'll take this counteroffer. Lesson 12, Rejecting a Counteroffer Mr. Smith, we received a counteroffer on your house. For which property? It's for the lot on 6th Avenue. Okay, I've been waiting for this. Yes, and I think it is a very good offer. Okay, lay it on me. The buyer upped his offer to $375,000. Are you kidding me? That's still $7,500 below list. I know, Mr. Smith, but the market is weak right now. I don't care. I'm not losing money on this. You won't be losing money, sir. I don't care. I'm not selling at that price. Lesson 13. Deciding which offer to accept. Do you have any news for me, Danielle? Yes, sir, I do. That's good to hear. It's been a while since I've heard from you. We not only have one offer for your home, we have two. Are they both serious offers? Yes, sir, they are. Okay, let's go over them. The best one comes from the San Gabriel couple. Why do you say that? 
The offers are the same in dollars, but they place no conditions on the sale. Really, they will buy it as is. Yes, sir, they will. Okay, I think we found our buyer then. Lesson fourteen: Deed transfer. My dad told me he was going to put his second house in my name. The one on Bronson Street. Yeah, that's the one. Wow, that's a nice house. Yes, it is. He wants me to start taking on more responsibilities. Well, that will do it. It's not easy managing a home. I guess not, but I won't be living in it now. So what's he doing? He's just doing a quit claim deed. What's that? It's a deed transfer, changing ownership of the home. It's not a sale. No, it's usually done between family members. Lesson fifteen: Preparing to move out. Honey, where are the kitchen utensils? I have no idea, Alicia. They're in one of these boxes. I can't believe how much work is involved in moving out. I didn't expect this either. I hope this is the last time we move in a while. Me too. I thought it was just a matter of calling a moving company, but wow. That's just the beginning. Everything has to be organized and packed first. It's a good thing the kids are helping. Yes, and your brother too. His truck has made this easier. We've stayed in this house for a long time. Yes, it's time to move, but I don't want to go through this again. We won't, Alicia. Remember, we got the house we wanted. Lesson sixteen: Moving day. I think the movers are here, Brian. They're here. They are early. Yes, I know. They're an hour early. We're not ready yet.、Uh, I'll tell them to come back. No, that's okay, dear. I'll go talk to them. Are you sure? Yes, they can start loading the furniture while we pack the small stuff. I guess that's okay. We'll be fine. Most of the furniture is in the front anyway. As long as they don't get in our way. I'll tell them we're not done packing. It should be okay. It better be. They're very early. Election day. Are you voting? Is election day coming up? It is. Election day is the first Tuesday in November. I'm not sure if I'm even registered. Did you fill out a registration form? I did, and I think I got a card in the mail. That's your voter card, so you are all set. Are you going to vote? I am going to vote. Why don't we go together? That's a great idea. I still need to decide who I'm voting for. I received so many mailings from all the candidates. I'm going to go to your house and read them to help me decide. Polling place. Tomorrow's election day, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go vote. You didn't get a card in the mail telling you where your polling place is. I think I threw it away. Can't I just go with you? No, everyone's polling place is different based on your address. So how do I know where to go now? You can check the board of elections website. What if I don't have internet access? There's also a phone number you can call. Where is your polling place? My polling place is at a recreation center a block away from my house. Will my polling place be close to where I live? It should be within walking distance. Election system. Election day is next Tuesday. Did you register to vote? How do you register? If you are a U.S. citizen, eighteen years or older, you can fill out a form. What does the form ask you? It asks for basic details like your name, address, age, and what political party you want to join. Do I have to choose a political party? No, that's optional. But if you choose a party, you can vote in certain primaries. What happens once I register? You'll get a voter card in the mail. What good is that? It will tell you where your polling place is. Absentee ballot. I don't think I'll be in town on election day. 
You can still vote, though. How can I vote if I won't be here? You can file an absentee ballot. How do I do that? You can ask for a mail in ballot. What is that? It's a form you mail in saying who you want to vote for. Does it count like a regular ballot? It's just as if you were voting in person. I'd better ask for one then. You should do it quickly since it has to be in a week before election day. Speaking positively about the candidate. I'm really looking forward to casting my vote today. Oh, really? Why? I think my candidate will really change the way things are done in our city. How is that? Her education policy will help all students. I'll have to review her policy plan before I vote. You really should. You're a parent. What else do you like about the candidate? Her economic policy will lower the unemployment rate in the city. I've been unemployed for a while. Then you should vote for her. I'll read up on her positions. Speaking negatively about the candidate. Are you voting for the same mayoral candidate I'm voting for? There is no way I'm voting for your guy. Why are you saying that? Are you kidding? Have you heard him speak? What do you mean? I don't agree with his positions. I think he has a great education plan. He is going to ruin our schools with his plan. Come on, how about his jobs plan? That's even worse than his education plan. I think you need to give the guy a chance. The candidate I'm choosing is way better than your guy. Volunteering for campaigns. I wonder what I can do to get involved in the campaign. You can volunteer. What does a campaign volunteer do? All kinds of things like handing out pamphlets. Pamphlets about what? About the candidate and what they stand for. That sounds like it would be a great way to meet people. It is. Volunteers also make phone calls and ask for money. I would feel awkward asking strangers for money. It's not for you, it's for the candidate. You have a point. Volunteering for a campaign is a great experience. Fundraising for campaigns. Would you be interested in donating to our candidate's campaign today? Maybe. Can you tell me more about why you're raising money? Sure. Campaign ads are expensive, so we want to raise money for TV ads. Some of those ads are so negative, though. You're right, but the new ads are going to be positive. How much money are you trying to raise? We need a few thousand dollars. Is this the only way you're raising money? No, we are doing phone banking and even having an event. What kind of event? We are hosting a lunch with the candidate. I may be interested in donating for that. Meeting candidate before voting. I hope you're on your way to vote right now. I am, and I'm actually voting for you. Glad to hear that. I appreciate your vote. Can I ask you a question? That's why I'm out here today. Do you really think that you can change City Hall? I am sure going to try. See, that's the reason why you have my vote. Make sure you tell a friend to vote today. Should I tell them to vote for you? You don't have to, but it sure would be appreciated. Every vote counts. Working at the polling place. I'm really excited about my short term job. What's so great about it? I will be working at a polling place. What do you do at that job? I'll help to make sure voters are voting at the right place and answer basic questions. Was the job hard to get? Not really. I filled out an application online. That's all you had to do? There was a mandatory training, too, but they paid me for that. Does it pay well? It pays better than the minimum wage. Maybe I'll become a poll worker too. Asking questions at the polling place. This is my first time voting and I need some help. I'll be happy to help you. What's your name and address? 
Here's my identification. You are in the right place. How do you know? Your name is right here. Sign next to the image of your signature. Okay, sign here, then what? Then you're ready to vote. Where do I do that? You can use the empty booth right behind you. You are so helpful. I'm just doing my job as a poll worker. Interviewing a voter. I work for the big city newspaper and I'm doing a story on election day. I read that paper all the time. Great, so I can interview you for my story? I would love that. Did you vote today? I'm on my way home from voting now. Who did you vote for? I voted for our city's first female mayor. Were there many people voting? I think turnout was pretty low. It's a shame. Why do you think that is? I think people think all politicians are dishonest. Excitement after voting. That was such a rush. What did you do? It was my first time voting in an election. Oh, wow, congratulations. But why is that so exciting for you? Are you kidding? I just played a role in history. What if the incumbent wins? Still, participating in U.S. democracy is great. Maybe because I've done it so many times, it, and it doesn't seem like a big deal to me. I can't wait to vote again next election. Not everyone votes, so it's good that you take it seriously. Everyone should take it seriously. You're a great example. Discussing who you voted for. So who did you vote for? I voted for de Blasio. It's been a while since New York City had a Democrat as a mayor. It has been so long. You think so? I'm a Republican. It's like Obama's campaign. Change is good. I guess we'll have to wait for the results. That's true. May the best person win. I hope it was my candidate. What if de Blasio doesn't win? It's only four years till the next election. Disappointed at the result. I'm really bummed that de Blasio won the election. Really? Why is that? I think Republican mayors have been good for our city. There's too much inequality. You think this new mayor will change that? You bet he will. It was his campaign promise. Politicians make promises all the time. It doesn't mean anything. I think you're wrong. Mark my words. This will mean more crime. Crime has been going down all over the country. Thanks to the Democrats. I guess we'll have to give the new mayor a chance. Happy with the result. Finally, we'll have a Democratic mayor in New York City. I don't even know what that is like. Exactly. There hasn't been a Democrat running this city in a long time. I hope he will live up to all his campaign promises. He will. The mayor-elect is really sincere. They all seem sincere in the beginning. This is really going to turn the city around. How will that happen? Are you kidding? There will be better schools. The school system is pretty bad right now. There will also be more affordable housing. The city sure could use that. Comments on the new president. Having a new president will change the course of history. Why do you say that? Well, Obama was our first black president. Now we have our first woman. You think gender matters that much? Absolutely. Women view things differently. You don't think she'll be too soft on foreign policy? No way. Look at how she handled things as Secretary of State. That's true. She was tough, but also sympathetic. Exactly. We need someone who is more than just tough. I worry about people being too tough on her. She was a first lady and she knows the ins and outs. She definitely has experience.